Hello there. My name is Mac Horse, and oh my oh my, look at this beautiful car right here. In this video, I'll show you how to load a car model into Minecraft, and how to make its wheels spin. I'll be using following versions of my mods, and also Blender 2.8. Before we start, this is not a Blender tutorial, if you don't know how to use it, watch some basic tutorials online, like this series. Anyways, let's go. First thing first, in order to ease the configuration of anchor points, you need to install a Blender add-on that exports JSON file of a model with origin point data. It can be done by downloading a zip file from the description, and then installing it via Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, then pick the downloaded zip, and enable it. Next, we need to import the model. This particular model came in OBJ format. Extract the zip to a folder, and then import the OBJ file via file. Import, Wavefront OBJ. After importing, the first thing I gotta do, is to fix the orientation and scale of the model. The model must be oriented towards positive Y, which you can see where it is in the gizmo on top. It's oriented towards negative Y, so I have to rotate it 180 degrees on Z axis. If I go to orthographic perspective and front view, I can see that the model is 2 blocks high based on the grid, which should be fine. Finally, I want to remove the windows. The problem is that Minecraft doesn't work correctly with transparency, so it's a good idea to remove anything that is semi-transparent. Now, once the model is fixed, we can get to separating wheels from the main mesh. If your model already came with wheels separated, skip to the next section. This can be done by selecting wheels via linked selection, L key, and separating by selection, which is P key, selection. Repeat this for all wheels. Let me move a bit the screencast keys widget, so you could see it more clear. Anyways, once wheels are separated, what I would do first is rename meshes. This is purely for organization. When renaming, make sure that you rename both the object name and the data mesh name. Otherwise, it will end up merged like this further in the video, because I forgot to rename the data mesh name in the end. Now it's time to set up anchor points for wheels, which will be responsible for correctly defining the rotation of wheels. It can be done by going into the edit mode, selecting the whole wheel, and then moving the cursor to the center of that selection. Once the cursor is in the middle of the wheel, exit the edit mode, search up for set origin dialog, and then click on origin to 3D cursor. Alternatively, this option can be found in object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Repeat this for every wheel in the model. Once all wheels have their origin points, we can export the model. Go back to Minecraft, open the mod options menu, which is Ctrl plus zero by default, go to Blockbuster, and click on open models button. There, create a new folder for your model, and export the OBJ to that folder. If you have only one texture, you can disable right materials checkbox, but if you have multiple, Keep it enabled. Now, we also need to export the JSON model which will have the information about origin points. Make sure it's called exactly model.json. If you exported the OBJ model with right materials enabled, make sure to enable provides materials checkbox. Once you exported both OBJ and JSON model files, we can set up the materials. I'm not going to go too deep into this, but if you have multiple textures, you need to move texture files to appropriate folders, and rename them to exactly default.png. A detailed explanation of this can be found in this video, or, if you have one texture, simply place it into skins folder.
Once you have textures appear correctly, you can try placing the car model with model block, and see if everything is correct. As you can see, if I'll rotate one of the wheels, it will rotate correctly around its origin point, and not something like this, haha. Ha. Now, after all this tricky work, we can finally do the main thing, making wheels spin. Open dashboard menu, by pressing 0 key, go to the model editor, and search up your model. Now, select a wheel, and enable wheel toggle. For front wheels, I also like enabling looking Y toggle, as it allows making front wheels rotate whenever an actor looks. Repeat this for every wheel. Once it's done, enable walking animation preview. As you can see, wheels are rotating correctly. Congratulations! Now you can save the model by pressing on the floppy disk icon button, and go to the world to check out how the wheels are spinning. So yeah, now I'm UR's 452 with spinning wheels. Splendid. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope that this tutorial helped you making a model that has spinning wheels, like a car or something. If you'll have troubles loading a model, please, do not write a comment saying, help my model doesn't work, that's not gonna help me help you. What you should do is go to my discord server, link is in the description, and describe the issue with screenshots of how it looks, how it should look, and where did you place the files. The more details, the more chances I'll be able to help you. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.